really want to carry on doing this if I can't get it fixed because I've already wasted like 10 sheets of paper. <gasps> no way, I actually love it. guys this weekend i am going to be making some more skinny tumblers as you know because i've been talking about it a lot i have my first convention coming up um, and also i wanted to be doing a launch probably hopefully for the beginning of april kind of like a spring launch and i wanted to make a new tumbler design because i have two so far i have my pastel game and i have my strawberry lemonade and yesterday i was working on this bad boy. I think this is so cute. I don't know how it's gonna look on a tumbler because I haven't tried it yet. It's a little bit more minimalistic but I kind of like that and I just think it's so cute and it'll be so good for a spring launch. I also think it might do quite well at the convention as well so I thought I'd kind of like test them, do like a test a launch for the convention and see how well they do. So I'm very excited to try that today. Another thing that happened this week was actually I got a very exciting package. So I'm gonna show you guys what happened. Okay, let's get into this. Oh my gosh. Here it is. Whoa, this is exciting. The new Munbian label printer. How exciting. I actually have a Munbian Thermal label printer. It's one of the old ones. They also sent me a bunch of labels, which is great because after a year and a half of having a business, I'm actually finally starting to run out of my old labels that I got. They also sent me these. Look at these heart-shaped labels. How freaking cute are these? These are like perfect for Valentine's Day, which is just around the corner. If you are doing like custom Valentine's Day gifts, or maybe even like anniversary custom gifts, or if you're doing like Mother's Day, Father's Day, all that kind of stuff, these would be so cute for packaging. So I have actually used Munbian and their label printers for quite some time now, and they very kindly gave me their new label printer. It has the kind of same design as my old one, however, the difference is this time. The old ones only supported like a wired Wi-Fi connection, whereas this one actually supports USB as well, so you don't need the extra wires for it, which I really appreciate appreciate because sometimes when you're running a small business there can be too many wires that are involved like that'll be just around your desk cluttering your desk space up so in this little baggie here this is where the little usb stick is which i didn't get with my last one so this is gonna be a big game changer it's even got a little keychain on the top so you know you won't lose it <laughs> This is a little cable, which again, I didn't get with my last printer, so this must be new as well. This connects straight into your phone, so you can print labels from your phone if you don't have a laptop or a computer, which is very friendly for new small businesses. Okay, let's do a little test page. Oh yeah, that looks, that looks really crisp. I wanna just test something. <gasps> Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> the reason that I'm getting so excited. The last one that I had, when you switch out labels, which I often do because I make my own little packaging labels with the Munbian printer as well. So I make like these as well. So I often change out labels. The one thing that I hated about that other printer was that if you put the labels in, it would just push them out. So like there'd always be one label on the end you'd have to rip off. It always felt like a little bit of a waste. What just happened there was it scanned it and it pushed it back. So it was not wasting that extra label on the end. And I love that because it's gonna save me so many labels. I do have quite a few orders today actually, which is so awesome but i am running out of packaging supplies as well so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna print out a bunch of new packaging stickers with the printer and then we'll print out the shipping labels I'm not noticing with my last one when you'd print out a lot of labels in a row it would start smelling a bit like burning this one doesn't smell even though it's printing out quite a lot which again I appreciate something that happened that hasn't happened in the last 
vaping machine that I had. The labels seemed to be getting a little bit caught in here. So it's got some like marks on it now because the labels were wrapping around it rather than pushing them forward. So that was a little um, weird, but I think it's because it brings the labels back a little bit. So you probably have to be a bit more careful. I'm so used to it pushing them forward and like having to rip off the first one. So I guess you just have to be a little bit more careful now that it's not stuck to the the wheel or anything so it's not going to get stuck or jammed in but this is a new printer usually when i get new stuff i always have a few issues with them until i learn how to properly use them and stuff so that was the that's the only con so far that i can really think of order pile like this in quite some time let me tell you <laughs> I just want to say a very quick thank you to Munbian for sending me that label printer I have used their thermal label printers since I started my small business I highly highly recommend them and there'll be some links in the description if you want to check out their new label printer I really enjoyed it so thank you very much to them now I actually got another package yesterday if you remember if you didn't see the last vlog I will try and remember to link it in one of these corners I I went ahead and designed a table banner um, for my convention. I really wanted one of these um, and I finally I finally did it. I finally got one. I've never had a table banner before so I don't know how this is gonna look. I'm very excited. All of last year when I was doing market stalls I really wanted a table banner but I just like couldn't really justify the price. They're not that expensive. This was like 30 pounds but I just like I was very uh, I was a very new small business. I just didn't have the money for it. So let's check this out. Okay, here it is. Oh my god, it's actually way bigger than I thought it was. Oh my gosh, holy crap. Oh my god, it's so cute. Oh no. There's a little, um, a few marks on the design. Which I'm not sure if it's a them issue or a me issue. I did double check the the design when I was doing it, so I don't know where they've come from. So it's like on the clouds, there's just like little parts of like blue on them. I don't even think you can, I don't even think you can see them on camera. Not really a big deal. If it was if it bothers me that much, I'll just take a white sharpie to it. I don't think it will. I don't think people will notice. It is so much bigger than I thought though. Holy crap. I'm standing the complete wrong way. <laughs> Let me show you guys. It's so much bigger than I thought. Hold on, I can't even like ugh. I really like it. I think it's gonna make my table look so cute. I actually have to pay a little bit extra to get the um, the eyelets in it. So I had to pay like a five pound extra, I think, to get the eyelets in it, but I think it's better to have them than not have them. Wow, I really like this. Oh my gosh. I'm so happy. I am so in love with my new branding. I can't even tell you guys. I'm just, I really like where it's going. For like a year or something, I just didn't really like my branding. And I just couldn't, like, I kept trying to change it and upgrade it and update it and I just never felt right. And I feel like finally, after like a year and a half or whatever, I'm finally starting to like feel like I found something that feels right for my brand. That just made me like 10 times more excited to do my convention. I think it's gonna make my table look so much better. So I'm like so excited for that. that I didn't fix. 
that I just noticed just now after I printed it out didn't notice it in Photoshop when I'm doing seamless tumblers I cannot have anything touching the corners otherwise it will just look like a mess when the seam meets so I always try to make sure like it just doesn't touch the corner so it looks more seamless than what it actually is I'm gonna have to cover this over and probably like get another flower but like make sure it's not too make sure it's not touching the edge basically oh goodness so I had a bit of issue with the printing there it was just taking a while for the designs to come out right but I think I finally got it so I can now get to cutting them up and sticking them on the tumblers hmm, actually I might have to move it further are you kidding I might have to oh god I've just printed out like three of these and I don't think it's gonna work oh no it's gonna overlap means the design's gonna cut off oh so it's been like an hour and a half and I'm having real bad printer problems what's happening is the paper at the end at the very end of the print was like getting caught and it was coming out like this little corner was coming out like upwards and it'd be like black paint like smeared all over this corner and I, I, did, I couldn't figure out what it was I thought oh maybe the paper just isn't in straight because it has happened before that wasn't what was happening so I decided while it was printing or like when I got to the end of the print I pulled open my little the, the butt, top part so just so I could see what was happening because I had no idea it's it, it's fine it was completely straight the whole time until it got to the end part and then the paper just as it was like thinging along the paper was catching on it and coming upwards which i don't i don't know how that, that would happen or what's causing that like I, I really tried adjusting it again and again and again and i can't figure out what's wrong with it i tried typing into google as well what's wrong with it but it just keeps coming up with like paper jamming solutions which it's not, it's not a paper jam i did manage to get three of the frog prints done but I also wanted to do some soot sprite tumblers as well today, which obviously I don't really want to carry on doing this if I can't get it fixed because I've already wasted like 10 sheets of paper. I have gotten two so far done. Hopefully when I sublimate them, there'll be no more issues. <laughs> there's always one issue, there's always at least one, but I can only be patient for so long. I am a human. <laughs> anyway, I am printing out my soot sprite design now. Um, I want to do a couple more of these for the convention. I did turn the saturation and change the colour balance on it a little bit so hopefully it comes out a little bit more saturated because last time it was coming out a little bit duller than what I would like so I think I'm going to do three of these today um, and then three of the froggy ones as well and that should be pretty decent amount for the convention I don't want to do like too many because I do have my pastel game ones as well that I'll be taking so I think three of each is a good amount it's just a one day con so I can't imagine it's going to be a too too crazy at this rate, I'm also going to need to buy some more tumblers too because initially the tumblers that I made last time, the pastel game ones and stuff, I was going to save them for my launch but I think I am going to take them to my market stall because I think a pastel game one at a convention is like a really good idea. <laughs> okay, let's hope there's no more issues today. <laughs> Okay, so here we are. I think I'm gonna use my HTV Ront heat press because it's an easy heat press to automatic one. So I could use both at the same time and have it done a bit quicker, but this one I think currently is set up for mugs and I do actually wanna do a couple of mugs next week. So I think I might leave this the way it is, set as the way it is so I can do mugs with this one next week. And then today we can do our tumblers with this one. I'm super excited to see how these froggy ones are going to turn out. I actually have no idea what to expect with them. The design's a bit more like minimalistic than I'd say my other ones are. Um, I didn't really do like a background or anything to it. It's just like a nice green colour. Okay, we're just waiting for it to heat up. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna pull it off slowly just to see if it, oh yeah, that worked, okay. Well, I can never get, the tape is always like so annoying to get off, okay. We'll check this one first before we do any other ones. Just to make sure it came out okay. Helpful if I can get any of this tape off. Ooh. Ooh. Hold on a second. Oh. <gasps> no way, I actually love it. How cute, oh my gosh, wait. <gasps> oh. I'm sorry, but like this in the springtime. Oh my gosh, hello. It's so cute. I really like it actually being kind of minimalistic. I was worried there would be like too much 
space in between like the frogs and the flowers and stuff but I kind of like it I actually think it works pretty well for the design <laughs> okay well that worked out really well there was no like white edges or anything on it it looks really good so now let's do a soot sprite one and then I think I'm gonna break for lunch because it's lunch time <laughs> Okay, so here is the Sut Sprite one. Let's uh, give this a little look. Oh yes, it's definitely a bit more saturated this time around, but it, I, the change isn't drastic, but it is definitely a bit more saturated, which I like. There's the Sut Sprite design. <gasps> Super cute, I really like it, wow, nice. Wait, I can't even find the seam on this one, what? Oh my God, is this, is this seamless? Hello? Oh my God, wait. No, I think this is seamless. <gasps> How did I do that? I wasn't even trying to. <laughs> this is a seamless tumbler. I told you guys I could do it. I mean, I didn't mean to, but I still did it. <laughs> That's literally perfect. What the hell? I'm so excited to get like those up on my shop in April. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. Ah! <laughs> my tumblers I got a whole bunch of them ready now for the convention which is super exciting I don't think I'm gonna do any more for the convention I might do a couple more pastel gaming ones but I'm not entirely sure I actually don't have that many blanks left for the tumblers I think I have like four or five left which is not a lot and I just want to I want to see how well they sell at the convention as well because I have Try to sell them at market stalls. Obviously, markets are a bit different from conventions, um, but they never really. They did okay at market stalls, but they just didn't like sell that well as well as I would love like. But <laughs> for the rest of the day, I want to get ready for tomorrow by printing off the designs um, that I want to put on tote bags and stuff, and maybe even get a couple of the um, the designs ready for mugs and stuff, like the wraps ready for them as well. I want to really, really start getting ahead with this like launch and convention prep and just making a bunch of products and stuff. <laughs> Day. Um, I'm going to be doing the tote bags first and foremost and if I have time I'll be doing some mouse pads but we'll see how the day goes. I just want to kind of uh, work on some tote bag designs first. So last night I um, printed out the designs for the tote bag. I really like how they're looking so far but I'm having a few decision issues I guess. <laughs> what I did last night was I got one of my tote bags and I lay it down and I was just kind of like testing the design on like on the tote bag to see how I'd like it so like I think the soot sprite one it's gonna be kind of like a more simplistic design and I'll have them just here and I can have them on like both sides as well I did with the Korox as well I kind of just had them in a line and I was kind of gonna put them like maybe a bit further down like maybe here but I was actually thinking this morning like do I want two designs that are like practically the same same like both minimalistic but like the corks are like slightly bigger than the soot sprites but what i was thinking is for this design i might actually 
go back into Photoshop and cut them like out and like rearrange them and then I can like make them bigger and like rather than having them in like a straight line I could like dot them each Korok around the tote bag and make them a little bigger so the tote bag just looks a bit more full up because I also have my pastel game design as well so I was just gonna put this here as well and I was like well that's like three designs that are just kind of like pretty much the same in terms of like style they're all pretty minimalistic with like a little design at the top which is cute but I just don't know if I want three tote bag designs because I'm only making four tote bag designs for the convention I don't know if I want all of them to be exactly the same Hodoro design that I did I had one where uh, he's just kind of like on his own and then I have one where he's like a little bigger and there's like grass there and I don't know which one I prefer <laughs> I don't know which one I prefer do I prefer it without grass I don't know maybe I should just try it with both huh. honestly I'm not sure I keep going back and forth if I did want to do it without grass I'd probably have to go make him a little bigger again because he's the one with the design without grass was my first attempt um, the first time printing it out and when I printed it out and tested it against the tote bag I was like mm, it feels a bit small I think the Korok one I'm definitely going to change so I might actually go back into Photoshop and reprint the Koroks make them a bit bigger and dot them around so I can cut them out um, and like individually place them on the tote bag I can give it a go I don't want to waste like too many tote bags wasn't that even on it I don't think but oh <laughs> wait it actually looks really good hold on let me do the other two the good thing as well is that these tote bags they when they arrived they were quite creased and because I'm putting the the heat press on it's actually iron, ironing out the creases at the same time so <laughs> keeping in mind this one is probably going to be the hardest design to do because of the different sections I'm having to do it in okay let's see Oh my gosh, wait, I, this is actually like working really well first time. What the hell? <laughs> oh, I sh you know what? I didn't even think. I should have put down butcher paper on top. Oh my gosh, wait. No, I love it. <laughs> I think they need to be more centered. Like, they're a bit, they're a bit too spaced out. There's like, there is only four of them. I could potentially. I think this guy's also way too wonky. Like, he's way too on his side. I think I might do an another tester of this, but on the back of this. I don't, I don't think I actually do want to do the Koroks just at the top. I think I want to actually have them dotted around because I actually, I really, really like that. Oh my god, I can't believe how good it's turned out. I just think that they need to be a little bit more pushed into the centre, like closer together. Other than that though, oh my god, it's so vibrant. It's so pretty. It's come out so well. <gasps> That's so exciting. I don't have my printer switched on yet, but later on I'm going to print out some more of the bigger Korok designs and I'm going to do another tester on the back of this. But I want to try my other designs first to see how they look. You know what as well, I just I just tested it. I just tested it in front of my mirror that and I realised if you have it like that, the, the empty part in the middle is actually like where your arm would go anyway. <laughs> so it actually kind of works out. Okay, I'm going to try the Soot Sprite design. Um, I don't want it too far up. But I'm just not sure how much I'm going to like it because it is like a very minimalist design. So I don't know if it's going to look maybe a bit too plain. But I'm going to give the soot sprite design a go first anyway and see how I like it. Because I want it to be a minimalistic design but I also don't want it to be like too plain. So it's like finding the balance in between like minimalistic and plain. <laughs> these are not taking as long either, the tote bags. They don't take as long to sublimate. So I could probably get a good couple of these done today which is awesome. Because I do want to do the front and back of... um each tote bag like I don't just want it to be one-sided tote bags okay that should do let's have a look at this one. Oh, it's cute oh it has got a little it's not ghosting but it's just like the heat just didn't catch as well at the top there is it too minimalistic though 
That is actually really cute though. I do like it. I'm someone who loves like nerdy stuff, but I don't like to wear or like have like accessories that are like super, super obviously like in your face. I love this game or I love this show. I like things that are a little bit more minimalistic. So I actually quite like things like this. I don't know. Actually, I do think I quite like it. I think it's like really, it is really cute. I could try one where it's a little bit further down, I guess. Okay, that one came out perfect. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's so cute. Wait. <laughs> I mean, this is like the only design that's going to be like super minimalistic. It's like I'm wearing them so I can test them in the mirror. And when I'm looking at them in the mirror, I'm like, it is minimalistic, but it's like, you can still see the design. It is really cute. I really like it, actually. It's so vibrant as well. And I really like that about this. I think when I can see the designs like all together side by side, I'll be able to see which ones I like and don't like because I want my tote bags to have different kind of layouts and stuff so people can choose from different things. So I want to kind of make all of them, do them side, put them side by side and see how I feel about them as like a collection, I guess. These tote bags, they are not bad quality. They're just a little bit on the thinner side. Like they are, they do feel really nice, like the material and stuff. They're just a little bit on the thinner side, like they're a thinner kind of tote bag and I would really like thick a kind of tote bag so I will be looking to try a different manufacturer see what I kind of like look around and see what I like okay let's give this design a go now and give it a try because I'm excited to see what it's gonna look like so this one this design is not gonna be too far upwards like the substrate is like a bit further up on the bag like here this design is gonna be a bit further down so we'll we'll see how that looks oh Wow, oh my gosh, wait, this that's actually a really good, that's a really good placement for that. I actually really like where that is, like a bit further down on the tote bag. That is really cute. Could it stand to be a bit bigger though? Maybe. Oh my god, they're coming out so beautiful though. Like the designs are so vibrant and lovely. Okay, let's do this other side. Man, I did not expect these to go so well. I am like blown away. I absolutely love them. This is so fun. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, I just love it. <laughs> that is it. Both sides are done. What do you guys think? Do you think I should try a bigger size or do you think it looks quite nice as like a minimal design? What do you think? Okay, we're gonna do the Totoro design now. I am gonna try the grass one first because it is a much bigger design and I think for this Totoro design, I want him to be as big as possible on the tote bag. Whoa. Oh, that's cute. That is so cute. Oh my gosh. I also have to be aware as well because I, 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 I don't have, I can't print on A3 paper as well. So I have to make sure all the designs fit on like A4 paper and stuff too. So I can't make the designs that big just yet, unfortunately, possibly in the future. But like, I think I do really like that as it is. Oh my gosh, wait. I don't think I'm even gonna bother trying the one without the grass because I think that looks really good. That's so exciting. Was that the door? Hold on. Okay, so it was the door. He knocked very quietly. I almost didn't hear him. I got some elasticated string for my table banner. It is pretty thin and it is, it's white, but it's like a really dark white. So I don't know how it's gonna look, but whatever. We'll give, I'll test it before I go to the convention anyway. And I also got a new camera battery because you guys know I am constantly <laughs> in every vlog um, running out of my uh, battery when I'm filming stuff. So <laughs> I, got an, I got an extra one. Okay. Oh, it came out perfect again. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to sell these at my convention. What the hell? It's so cute. Let's turn that off for a little bit and give it a bit of a, a break. Uh, you don't want to leave these machines on for too long. So I'm going to give it a 20 minute break and I'll probably print out more of my Korok designs as well while I'm waiting for it to cool down and stuff. Okay, there they all are together, all four of my new tote bags specifically for my conventions. What do you guys think? Which one's your favorite? Do you think they're a bit too minimalistic or do you kind of like that they're a little bit mi minimalistic? I definitely want to change the placing on these ones. This guy's like flying away in a different direction. Not great. And I think they need to be like closer together as well. Just so the tote bag looks a little less like all over the place, I guess. Um, 
this guy could be moved down a little bit this guy could be moved up a little bit i think that would look really good like all of them being in the center um so i'm definitely going to try that but i'm going to try it on the other side of this one because I, I only did this side so i still have the other side to do a test on this one i do quite like as it is Totoro, I think I definitely like as it is. I'm just a bit worried that these, like, they're just a bit too plain all together. I think it's just because, like, I mean, I can't go too crazy with the designs because my heat press is quite small. But also, um, I think it's just because they're all the same color as well. I guess if I had, like, different colors, they'd look, like, a little bit more um, diverse. Is that the right, <laughs> right word? I guess I just would be like, oh, like, it has more options. I don't know. I think they look good the way they are, but I'd really like to know what you guys think. What do you, what do you think? Which one's your favorite? Honestly, I think Totoro might be my favorite. Or maybe the Koroks will when I finally get them, like, figured out how I'm gonna place them and stuff. I really like them, they're so cute. They came out so vibrant as well. I am so, so impressed with how like crisp and vibrant they've come out. I just made four tote bags at home for the first time and it's not even 11 a.m. <laughs> what a productive morning. <laughs> I've got some more printing out currently. So I've got two sheets of the Korox printing out right now. I went from having like three tote bag designs to having seven in a morning because I have three on my Etsy shop currently and now I have seven not on my Etsy shop these aren't these are not going on Etsy <laughs> but I still have seven tote bag designs now that's insane right, I've had those blanks in my cupboard for like literally like seven months or something now they've been in there a long time I just never got around to like making tote bags and stuff and I just figured this convention was the best time to give it a go and I really the print on them has come out so much better than I could have imagined. They look amazing. Like, I just... Oh, I'm so excited. I honestly, I can't even tell you guys <laughs> how much I love these tote bags. Like, I left the room for like 10 minutes. I came back and I actually love them more now. <laughs> I love them more. now I actually didn't have as many tote bags as I thought I did in my drawers um so I really can only make about three of each design which is a fine fine number but um I would like a couple extra just to have in um so I just bought some more I bought like 10 more um just because there are a couple of designs like I'm fine having three for each design but I'm also like the Totoro one, which I think might do quite well. I would like a couple more. Then again, you can never tell, but it's just nice to have a couple extra, especially because two of them are wonky ones, so I can't really sell them either. So I just bought some more, which they should be arriving in the next couple of days, which is really good. And I'm just gonna spend the rest of the day um, chilling, watching some YouTube, and finishing these tote bags. This weekend has been so, so good. I feel like I've gotten so many new products done and ready for this convention. I feel a little bit less stressed about it. I feel a lot better about it. I'm excited. I'm ready for it. Um, I've got a couple more weekends left until the convention, so yeah super super great progress so far i'm glad that i'm finally able to start getting products made for it if you like this video then please subscribe and check out my last video where i actually redecorated my entire downstairs workspace thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye